All right, guys. After two attempts, <laughs> I think I've finally figured this out. I uh, tried to hoist the camera in an underneath the headrest, and it didn't work very well because I could hear the <laughs> from the seat. So, looks like I'm going to have to do another video. But, I have you on the front of the dashboard like I did last time. I know, not exciting because you can't really see the instrument gauges and me shifting and all that stuff. But, will give you a better view of the road, which is the point here after all. You see, didn't perfectly plan a route on accident, which was absolutely perfect, and messed it up because the whole video was crap. So, hopefully this one will be better. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and I'm going to shut up. Actually, see, now that I've done the video, I can't remember what I did and didn't talk about <laughs> with you guys. Um, let's see if maybe I can zoom. Ooh, I can zoom, and you can see the road. Look at that. I think this is better. I don't know about you guys. I think this is better. I can zoom. Look at that. So I'll keep you up to date what gear I'm in and if I'm doing anything fancy. Anyways, by now, y'all will all have seen the To the Red Line stuff, which I think is kind of exciting, um, kind of terrifying at the same time, but, you know, it's, it's new, so give it time. Uh, but don't worry, I'll still be doing all my normal videos, you know, blogs, fiesta stuff, so don't worry about that. That'll all be here. Um, and on another note, just about the car... 1,745 miles now, which is a lot because I've had the car for like three weeks. Uh, and I don't need to be putting 2,000 miles a month on the car because that would be uh, 24,000 miles a year. And considering my extent, my, war, my factory warranty runs out 36,000 miles, it's going to be gone kind of quickly. Um, then the powertrain, five years, 60, that would be gone within oh, two and a half years. And then my six-year, 100,000-mile extended warranty will only last five years. No, four years. We smell hay, which would not be good. So, this is just a little video. I don't know what the real point is. Blog, night drive, whatever, updates. Ah, I love the smell of hay. It smells so good. Maybe if we zoom in. It's actually kind of a cool viewpoint. I don't know if you guys like it, but I really like it. Um, uh, let's see, 1746, 70 miles on the car, or, or probably a few less, yeah, a couple minutes ago. Uh, but I just kind of thought I'd come out here and do a little drive. Hopefully I can remember where to turn to get back to the interstate. Otherwise, we have Homer, also known as my GPS, to get me back home. I remember I turned right at this light. You missed it in the other video. Maybe I'll cut it and I'll put it in there. But uh, there's a cat sitting in the middle of the road that I almost freaking hit. I would have been so sad if I had hit the cat, but I didn't. I saw him and he just kind of sat there looking at me like, Honey Badger don't care. Cat, move. <laughs> so we're going to go back this way.
impressed with how the Fiesta holds the road. It's really, really nice, and the steering gets nice and loaded up as you go through the corner. It's kind of like the Fusion in that respect, where it kind of gets harder as you put more strain on it. That's a Mustang. Tell by the four fog lights, or two fog lights. I'm trying to remember how I ended up on this road. I'm sure it'll come back to me. Maybe. I got off 64 and it was like, I think it was the wrong road, and then all of a sudden it was like in the middle of nowhere. 703 is the road I came from. Mitsubishi Outlander, why?
Ah, 611. And 676, that was the road I was on. Graveyard, that's not creepy. Uh, uh, loose gravel. I don't like that. I no longer think this is the road that I came in on. Place like home. Here. More loose gravel. More loose gravel. This is the most random road ever. <laughs> okay, we're coming up to a stop sign. Spring Road, three ton weight restriction. I don't think we have a problem with that one. All right. Spring Road, I think we are going to have to take a left because that looks like where Richmond is. What are you doing? <laughs> Since I'm now stuck behind a Dodge Grand Caravan, I hope this hasn't been too boring of a video. So, I will cut it off here, and thanks for watching. I hope it wasn't too bad. I know it was pretty boring. Sorry, guys. Next one will be better.